Hello, 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 hello. It is day four, day four of 40 days of prayer. And we are pushing, we are pressing, we are going forth in the kingdom of God like never before. And today I want to pray over the spirit so we can endure. We won't give up. We won't give in and we won't throw in the towel. So I declare that Hebrews 12 and 1 will be our foundation as we push through. It says, therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders us and the sin that is so easily entangles, that so easily entangles and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. And that is the NIV um, um, thing. And so I speak perseverance over each and every person that is watching this, that is listening. You won't give up. You won't throw in the towel. You won't turn around. You won't run away, but you are pressed towards the mark of the prize of the high calling, which is in Christ Jesus, because God's grace, grace is giving you grace is for the race. Grace for the race. Grace for the race. God has given us grace for the race, and we will run this race with the Holy Spirit. Spirit. We will run this race with patience. We will run this race with truth. And we know that we have God on our side. So we thank God for day four of 40 days of prayer that you are giving us endurance, oh God, to run this race, oh God. You are giving us endurance, oh God, to push past, oh God, the things that will cause the cause hindrance, oh God that will cause delay, that will cause distraction, oh God. We won't forfeit the, the, we won't forfeit our promise. We won't sabotage our promise, oh God. We will go forth, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And God, I just thank you that on this 40 days, you are showing us all the things that we need to go forth and do it and to improve on, to please you, to be more like you, oh God, because it's about Jesus. It's about the kingdom of heaven. It's about advancing God. So God, I thank you right now for your purpose and your plan in our life. I thank you right now that we won't be hindered. I come against monitoring spirits, oh God, that have been sent forth by witches and warlocks and people and places, oh God, to try to hold us back. We knock over the gatekeepers in the name of Jesus. We bulldoze over them now in the name of Jesus so we can pray so we can push, so that we can get in that place where God called us to be. And I declare and decree, just as one person, oh God, is designed for one area and you're designed for another, we won't get caught in the spirit of comparison. We won't be jealous. We won't be envy. But God, we will set our affection on things that are above and not the things of this earth. Oh God, we won't be distracted, oh God, by what is not happening. But God, we will go forth, oh God, because you said in your word, we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses. So we throw off everything. We throw off blame. We throw off of, of excuses. We throw off the spirit of fear. We throw off the spirit of doubt. We throw off the spirit of manipulation and control. Witchcraft, you got to go in the name of Jesus. You got to leave. You got to flee in the name of Jesus. We throw off a uh, 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 low self-esteem. We throw off worried about money and finances. We throw it off, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We throw off the sin of uh, anybody that in uh, any type of lying. We throw it out in the name of Jesus. We throw out the spirit of adultery and fornication in the name of Jesus. We throw out the whole the, the spirit of hopelessness in the name of Jesus. And we push forward. In the name of Jesus, in this season, in this time, and oh God, we thank you right now, oh God, that we will examine what is in our way. We will examine what is throwing us off. We will look at the, our feelings and our emotions. Our emotions won't keep us from the promise. Our emotions won't keep us from being held back from what God has for us. And I even see in the spirit, God said, just keep pushing, daughter. Keep pushing, son. You can see the finish line. Envision the... 
I don't know if you've ever been at a track meet or even participated in a track meet, but there are times when that person is running and they're running that long mile and they're saying, I got to get to the finish line. But listen, you may be someone that is looking at people that have passed you by. You may be someone that's feeling like, God, it's too much. I can't make it. But if you just if finish going across the finish line, finish line last night in our women's meeting, uh, one of the uh, uh, evangelists said, you got the vision. You got to put your feelings in receiving it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You got to envision receiving that check in the mail. You got to envision receiving that good report from the doctor. You got to envision receiving and, and, and opening the door. Your husband is there or your wife is there. You got to envision seeing your children get baptized, filled with the Holy Ghost. You got to envision seeing. Them coming into the office saying, I got a new position for you. You have been upgraded. You got the vision seeing it. Because I have just tapped in and learned that we can hear it. We can declare it. And sometimes we do envision seeing it. But I'm going to tell you, there was a level of activation that happened in the room last night. There was a level of activation that happened that ignited each and every one of us to, to, to have a vision and envision and have feelings and emotions. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a even envisioning and, and, and envisioning and, and having feelings for some of the people that I prayed for today. For them testifying. I'm, I'm hearing them testify in my ear. I'm hearing the testimonies in my ear. And it's causing me to feel so excited about God and what he's getting ready to do in our lives. You got to envision, you got to speak it, and you got to feel it. Because perseverance produces character. We can't run away from the problems and the situations that come our way because God is trying to develop character in us. Romans 5 and 3 and 4 says, um, not only so, but we glory in our sufferings because knowing that our sufferings produce perseverance, perseverance produces character and character produces hope. So God, we hope in you. We won't give up. We press because we know you've got something in store for us. We know, God, we're not just doing this to get something, but God, we're doing this because you asked us to. We're doing this, oh God, because you are the King of kings and Lord of lords. You are our boss. And no matter whether we have a, a prize at the end or not, we just want to be obedient. And we understand, God, that we are not doing this alone, that you are with us and you are going before us. Hallelujah. Deuteronomy 31 and 8 says this, the Lord himself goes before us and he will be with us. He will never leave us nor forsake us. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. So I come against the spirit of afraid, of fear and discouragement. Do not be discouraged on this journey. Do not be afraid. God has already gone before us. There's a prayer request that I have to send out to my group. And I heard the Lord say last night, don't you know if I brought it to you, I'm going to supply the, the need that you have to, 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 to complete it? Because God done already went be before us. He's already went before us. The second Corinthians says, 4, 4 and 16 and 18 says, therefore we do not lose heart. Though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory, and that at far outweighs them all. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but what is unseen. Seeing what is uh, what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is um, eternal. So not only during this time do we want to fix our eyes on God and press. We want to have a, an eternal perspective because no matter what God we're asking God to do during this time, we have to know that, that we are, this is not our home. This is, this is not our home. 
and that we have to set our affection on things above. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto us. So my, my first my first goal during this 40 days is to seek God. It's not that this prayer and these assignments that I'm doing, it's only because God told me to do it. But my main focus is to be in God's presence as much as possible, to hear him speak to me. Whether it's about me or a sister I need to pray for, it's about God. And so, Father, during this time, I speak encouragement, oh God, over my sisters, over my brothers, oh God, that they will not give up. They will not throw in the towel. They will keep going. They will keep going till they get to the finish line. They will endure and they will per persevere in the name of Jesus. And they won't grow weary in well-doing because God is with us and he has gone before us and he has had the path laid before us in Jesus' name. So Father God, as I complete this prayer, for this day for God, I thank you, Lord God, that we will push forward. We will push forward. We will push forward, oh God. And God, no matter what we see and no matter what we hear, our eyes are on you. We have tunnel vision. We have tunnel vision. We have tunnel vision knowing that you will complete the work in us. Today, I walk around my house as I have done before seven times. And I begin to declare, Lord God, the work is completed in me, that you finished, that you started. The work is completed in my husband. The work is completed in my children. The work is completed in my spiritual daughters. The work is completed in my grandchildren. What you begin in us, oh God, that is pleasing to you, that is for the purpose and plan for your kingdom, it is complete now in Jesus' name. Our body and our mind is catching up with the complete work of God. We can see the finish line, but our feet are going to keep moving. Our hands are going to keep going. We are going to keep praising and we're going to keep declaring and we're going to see the finished work of Jesus. And so we cancel backlash and retaliation. No evil transferring of spirits. We are covered in the blood. And it's in Jesus' name we pray amen and amen. This is day four of 40 days of prayer. Press and persevere. You are not alone. Meet me tomorrow again on replay for day five, Lord willing. Blessings.